what is going on everyone and welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video I'll be installing the new HFW 4.88 on my hen PS3 from 4.87 so I'll be upgrading from 4.87 to the latest HFW 4.88 and I'll also be installing hen on the PS3 so let's go ahead and get started what you will need is a USB formatted to FAT32, internet connection to your PS3, internet connection to your computer or laptop or your cell phone to download the HFW file. You will also need a USB cable for your PS3 controller. Okay, so right here guys, I'm just going to show you my PS3 and show you that my current firmware is 4.87. there it is okay so let's just go back over to the computer okay guys so right here we have the latest hfw 4.88 this is a winraw file you will need winraw or 7-zip on your computer to open or extract the file from this um, extract the folder from this file so right click go down to extract here and you will see this PS3 folder. Copy it, or you can cut it, whichever one. Then go over to your USB stick right here. Make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. Go inside your USB stick, and on the root of the USB stick, paste that folder right there. All right, now that we have this folder here on our USB stick, all we have to do is eject the USB stick and let's head over to the PS3. Okay everyone, so we are back on the PS3 now. Um, there's two ways you can install the HFW 4.88. You can use system update right here and you can go to via um, storage media and you will see that you found the new HFW 4.88.1 but it is highly recommended that we do this in the recovery mode we have been doing it in recovery mode and we have no problem whatsoever and it was also suggested by the by the team by the exploit team right so what we're gonna do is just turn off the ps3 and put it in recovery mode I'll show you guys how to do that so make sure that your console is off as you guys can see there is the power button and it's showing the red light so my console is currently off okay so press and hold the power button until the console turns on so press and keep your finger on the power button it will beep okay then it's gonna beep again and then shuts off And that's it it turns right back off now go ahead and press and hold the power button again and it's gonna beep one more time and then two times um, consecutive then you release there's one there's the other two alright guys so we're now in recovery mode so make sure that you have your USB cable connected to your PS3 and connected to your controller then press the PS button go down to system update press X then you will get this option all you have to do is press start and select at the same time and this will scan the USB drive okay everyone so now that we've finished installing the latest HFW we are gonna go and install hen once again Alright, so let me just show you guys. As you all can see, I still have my stuff, but they are disabled. They are unable to play because I don't have N anymore. But let me just show you my system information. There it is. Well, um, something that you should keep in mind, guys, that um, this will not say version 
4.88.1 hfw it will never say that it never ever said that okay it always show just the version number as it is so version 4.88 so keep that in mind from this point on guys you you can go ahead and remove the usb from your ps3 we no longer need the usb plugged in then go to your internet browser press x okay guys so inside the internet browser you need to set up a few things if you haven't done that before you need to do it so as you all can see i have a blank page so let me show you guys how to get the blank page set up so press triangle go to tools go down to home page and go to use blank page press x then go to ok press triangle again go up to tools and go down to delete cookies press yes press triangle one more time tools again delete um, cache and that's it close the browser then enter the browser again all right guys so now that you're back in your internet browser you should now have your blank page right here so press start on the ps3 controller then you should delete this right here then you want to type this address in so type that address in and press the start button on your controller again once you get to this page you want to use the second option right here that says ps3 hen and then go down to the one that says hen installer slash enabler press x it's going to ask you if you want to download this so just press yes or it should download automatically press circle now what you want to do next is press the select button on your controller so press select then press X and you now save this as a bookmark so press circle and go out press circle again and exit the browser now go back in the browser press the select button again go down to ps hand installer press x right here just say do not save now press initialize hand installer okay so you will see that green writing that says hen installer initialized successfully go down to install hen right here press x and there you go we now get the um the 303 hen press x to exit the browser just give it time let it download guys okay download complete press circle install complete press circle and from right here guys we can go ahead now and reboot our ps3 and there you go so if you guys follow the instruction um, just like how I did it then you should have n install again on your ps3 let me just show you there it is and enable hand right there let me show you my system information there it is let me sign in and show you and there it is there it is let me enable hand there it is welcome to ps3 hand 303 i now have webman games right here and there it is
and there it is guys so hen has now successfully been in installed on the console and we have the latest hfw and everything so guys if the video was helpful please leave a like and share the video around and also you guys can subscribe for more videos to come thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time